Let's take a look at how to choose equivalent decimals. Which decimal is equivalent to 81.5? Well, that word equivalent means equal. So we're looking for something that has exactly the same value as 81.5. Okay, well, first of all, I definitely know I have to have 81 in the ones place. So it's or 81, <laughs> 1 in the ones place, 81 as the whole number part. So I'm going to cross off 85.10 and 85.50. Now, if I look at the decimal place, I have either 81.58 or 81.50. Now, 81.58 is very close to this number, but it's not exactly equal. 81.50 is exactly equal because if I have 81.5, you can add as many zeros as you want. I could call this 81.50 or even 81.500. I could keep going and add as many zeros as I want at the end of my decimal, and it does not change its value. So 81.50 is exactly the same value or equivalent to 81.5. Which decimal is equivalent to 45.2? Okay, so first of all, I know my whole number has to be 45, so it's not going to be these first two. It's going to have to be 45.2, and the only number I can add at the end of that decimal to keep it exactly the same is a zero. So this one is close, but not exact. 45.2 is exactly the same as or equivalent to 45.20. Which decimal, which decimal is equivalent to 28.3? Okay, well, remember, the only thing we can do that doesn't change the value at all is add zeros to the end. So this would be the same as 28.30, which I don't see. And first of all, I'm going to cross off these 23s. They don't even have the same whole number part. Now, 28.32 is close, but it's a little different. Notice for 28.300, all they did was add some zeros on the end. That does not change its value. Which decimal is equivalent to 41.5? Okay, so I'm looking for something that's 41.5 with just some zeros on the end. So that would be this. Remember, adding those two zeros does not change our value. So those are equivalent. Which decimal is equivalent to 96.5? Okay, well, 95.6, no, 96.59, not quite, 96.500. Notice this is the same as 96.5, except it has two zeros on the end, and putting zeros after your decimal does not change the value. So that would be equivalent. Which decimal is equivalent to 23.1? Well, that would have to be 23.100. Those zeros on the end don't change our value. Which decimal is equivalent to 87.3? That would have to be 87.300. So look really carefully because there's a lot of sevens and threes in here. We want to make sure it's the same except with some extra zeros at the end of our decimal point. Which decimal is equivalent to 69.2? Okay, well, I need it to say 69.2 and then just have some zeros on the end. So that would be this last one, 69.200. Which decimal is equivalent to 25.6? Well, that would have to be the first one, right? 25.600. Those extra zeros don't change our value. Which decimal is equivalent to 95.4? Would have to be 